I didn't realize the UK was that small. It sound big. It look big. The population is huge. Right. Didn't think there was that though. Like I knew like, that I know it was it smaller like than the United States, but I just didn't know it was that small to fit forty. What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shots React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The 874 square miles is larger than not just London, but half of the English counties. Oh, we're about to drop some facts, y'all. Let's get it. Hello, Let's get it. I'm Lawrence, and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond, and one of those memos pertains to size. They say that size doesn't matter, but have they looked at a map recently? Because it does matter when you move from Britain to the United States of America. Uh-oh. Scale of the you see, somebody States. once said that the biggest difference between Britain and America is that Americans think that a hundred years is a long time and that the British think that a hundred miles is a long way. Yeah. And I definitely used to think like this. For instance, I used to think that traveling from my hometown of Grimsby to the city of Manchester was a long way, even though it was only a hundred miles. But after miles. moving to the United States, where long distance commutes and cross country road trips are not that unusual, I soon realized that Americans viewed a hundred miles as no biggie. And as somebody who now fairly frequently does the commute from Chicago to Indianapolis, I have fallen in line with my American comrades. But just in case you don't believe me, or in case you're one of those British people that I often hear about, that comes to the United States and expects to see <laughs> New York City, Las Vegas, San Francisco, and the Grand Canyon all in one weekend, then allow me to present to you some maps. Some maps that highlight the scale of the United States in all its glory. Let's take a look. Firstly, let's take a look at the United States as a whole. If we include land and water, which we will be doing throughout this video, the United States has a total area of about 3.8 million square miles. In that respect, it could contain 40 not just Britons, but really? UK's. And for clarification, the UK is Britain plus Northern Ireland. The biggest country within the United Kingdom is my home country of England. I didn't hmm. realize the UK was that small. It sound big. It looked big. The population is huge. Right. Didn't think there was that though. Like I knew like, that I know it was it smaller right than the United States, but I just didn't know it was that small to fit 40. Hmm. Oh, okay. And you've almost certainly heard that the United States has an entire region named after it. Let's have a look at how they compare. <laughs> As the United States goes, New England oh, is a okay. relatively small okay. area of land okay. comprising six states. Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. And despite the fact that five of those states feature in a list of the seven smallest, the New England states combined are almost 22,000 square miles bigger than England. In fact, you wow. could throw in Wales and Northern Ireland and New England would it's still come out on top. Small. But even when you add in Scotland, there are certain other that. states that are bigger than the entire United Kingdom. Now, did not know this, that. Okay, so this, this put little... it in. Because all across the media, all you see is the UK versus the United States. That's a unfair comparison when you look at it that way yeah i mean look at it you... <laughs> did y'all did y'all see this coming at all did y'all <laughs> know this was a thing like, like, i didn't know this i knew we were bigger than the uk but just just seeing it it's, yeah like the different. perspective he he didn't did something yeah <laughs> <laughs> he like, didn't did some damage like, now yeah i don't understand the comparisons now <laughs> mm. Long ago, I made a video on the 11, yes, 11 states that are larger than the UK. But this video was mostly crap, and the chief complaint about it was that I didn't show any maps, so you just had to imagine it. Is well, it to show that I've grown as a YouTuber, and to visually put these 11 states into a UK context, I've put together a graphic. 
Have you ever seen those videos that compare the size of the Earth to the size of the Sun, and then the Sun to the next biggest star, and the next biggest star to the next biggest star, and so on? Well, I thought it would be fun to do the same thing with the UK and its 11 American overlords. So here are 11 US states with a total area, that's land and water, that's larger than the UK. Even Michigan? Wyoming. Now, if this were a game of top trumps, the United States would be winning by a country mile. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. So before we continue, I am going to throw in a fun fact that allows the UK a moment of glory. The most number of US states that you could collectively fit into the entire UK is 10. Now, admittedly, okay. it is the smallest 10, and those are West Virginia, Maryland, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, yeah. New but Jersey, Hawaii, Connecticut, Delaware, and Rhode Island. <clears throat> But one thing that you might notice about all of those, with the exception of Hawaii, is that they are east of the Mississippi River. But once you go west, things become so big that your yeah. eyes fall off. <laughs> <laughs> and something that really seems to get bigger out west are counties. You may remember last year I did a video on the differences between British and American counties, and one of those differences was size. For context, I want you to keep in mind that the... We're from Louisiana. Yeah. We have parishes. We do. <laughs> Just largest like county in the UK <laughs> is North Yorkshire. This clocks in at roughly 3,341 square miles. So it is itself more than half the size of Northern Ireland. Well, at this point in the video, it won't surprise you to hear that the United States has well over a hundred counties larger than that. And the vast, vast majority of them are out west. Now, if we allow for county equivalents like boroughs and census areas, Alaska has two county equivalents that are not just larger than North Yorkshire, but the entire United Kingdom. Alaska, you are massive and you need to be yeah, stopped. Are really? And you might say, well, Alaska's almost too massive, so this is just cheating. And it is true, Alaska is like the Galactus of American Texas states. We should start calling it Galaska. Yeah. But even if you drop down into the lower 48 contiguous states, there are some counties that are so big that they make certain countries look like quaint villages. Take, for example, the largest in the lower 48, San Bernardino County in California. At over 20,000 square miles, it's approximately four times the size of Northern Ireland and more than twice the size of Wales. And it's not alone. San Bernardino County is one of 10 counties with a square mile area of five digits. Now, in both Britain and America, within your average county, you'll probably find a city or two. And it'll be of no surprise to you whatsoever that America's largest cities are larger than the UK's largest cities. In the UK, the largest city by total area is comfortably London. In fact, at 671 square miles, it is the third largest in Europe. Now, it's important to remember that that's before we take into account the wider metropolitan area. And indeed, before we do do that, there are several cities in the United States that are considerably larger than 671 square miles. Surprisingly, none of these go by the name of New York, Chicago, or Los Angeles. Though this changes somewhat when we do account for each city's metropolitan area. But again, before we do do that, I've said do-do twice. The <laughs> largest four places in America that you could reasonably define as a city are all located in Galaska, Anchorage, Juneau, Wrangell, and Sitka. All measure well into the thousands of square miles. Now again, it's super Alaska. Everything is huge. So instead, let's take a look at the opposite end of the country down in Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, mm. Florida is surprisingly massive, owing partly to the fact that it consolidated with Duval County in 1968. Nonetheless, when you add up its water and land area, Jacksonville is the largest city in the lower 48. 
and at 874 square miles is larger than not just London, but half of the English counties. Now, if you take into account the metropolitan areas of both Jacksonville and London, Jacksonville marginally comes out on top. And that's despite the fact, yes, I changed my shirt, and that's despite the fact that Jacksonville is significantly down the pecking order when it comes to America's largest metropolitan areas. In terms of square mileage, there are dozens across the country that outmatch it, but none more so than the San Bernardino metropolitan area, otherwise known as the Inland Empire. The Riverside San Bernardino Ontario metropolitan area covers more than 27,000 square miles, almost the total area of Scotland. That's it for this episode. Let me know in the comments below some of the experiences you've had in the United States. Well, I know now that um, how we drive, and he's talking about mile ratios, right. like we go fur. Right. Real fur. Fur. <laughs> fur. So we was out there, we'd be driving, it wouldn't be nothing to drive. Right. Like, it would be real nothing to drive. Like, we handle that in a heartbeat. Right. So, I wonder, like, I know that y'all not big on, you know, people driving there. But if we were to visit the UK, we'd be able to drive. Yeah, because we would. we're used to driving, um, this 100 miles easy. or whatever. Easy. You know? Yeah. So, we're used to that. And we enjoy that. That's nothing for us. Now, driving 19 from Texas to, uh, California, that 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 was a lot. Yeah, but yeah. but it was nothing to a boss. That makes you know. it even more, you know, exciting. Like if we was to go, well, not if we are coming to see you. I mean, because we can all just like we can kill a whole dash for yeah, the like, whole thing. Yeah, I yeah. like it. I just didn't realize that they were that much smaller. Now the comparisons just don't make sense to me. Mm. Why are we comparing the United States? To you, to UK. Yes, it's a country, but that seems so unfair. Right. The is, what you guys think about it? Yeah, yeah. And um, did you guys ever have this type of realization brought to your attention in this type of way? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's a different scale that we're looking at now. Right. Because of course, the culture is different, of course, but it's so big, and that's it's why we always huge, try to yeah. share that we can't really make generalizations on certain topics because us in Utah is totally different. Us in New York is totally different. Like, yes, we're states and we're one country, but at the end of the day, like, states are like little countries compared to the UK, you know? Yeah. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks, thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our join feature to become a VIP member of the channel. Send in your reaction request through our description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.